This is a DJ Davis production. Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Today, listen, I'm bringing that soul food, that comfort food, you know, that uh, New Year's Eve food. Today, I'm gonna show you how I make black eyed peas. And so, you know what, really I wanna show a lot of people because you know, when I talk to people in the general senses is, everybody says, oh, my, my grandmother made them. Hey, I used to be guilty of that myself. Uh, what I can tell you is, listen, there is no mystery about it. It's very, very simple. It's the way you're gonna season and the ingredients you add into your uh, black eyed peas is what's gonna make it yours. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now right here, I just cut up a green pepper and then what you're gonna see me do is I just diced them. I mean, you can finely uh, dice them if that's what you wanna do, but I just like mine, like have a, like a more of a thicker uh, texture on it. Now what you're seeing here is I did the exact same thing with the yellow onion that I did with the bell pepper. Just go ahead and uh, cut it, you know, any way you like it. You can either do fine or you can just dice it or you can rough cut it. Either way, it's up to you. Here you'll see I use two cloves of uh, garlic. And the reason I went ahead and used fresh garlic is when you make this recipe, everything is fresh. And listen, just the flavors and you know, it just enhances it and just explodes when you taste it. Now these right here, crock pot liners. These are a must have. If you're using a crock pot, this makes your cleanup when you're done just like super easy. So what you do is you get your bell peppers, then you go ahead and put your onions in. You go ahead and put your garlic on top and then you can put your ham hock. This right here is a smoked ham hock. You'll see I just set it right there in the center. And then right here, you'll see that I'm using a chicken broth. There's 33% less sodium. That right there is one pound of uh, beans that have been soaked for four hours. Now you add your chicken broth, which was five cups. And then you wanna ensure that all your beans and everything is submerged in your chicken broth. Go ahead and add your lid on top and get everything set to uh, start your cook. You're gonna cook it on high for four hours. Okay, after four hours of cooking, then you wanna give it a you know a good stir. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take about one cup of beans out and you wanna drain them so you don't wanna have no liquids. Again, you just wanna take out approximately one cup of beans. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use, well, this is what I did. I used a scoop and I used a large uh, uh, Pyrex. This was actually a five cup uh, Pyrex and I used the back of a scoop to just mash the beans. And this is how you're gonna thicken it up. You want to mash it. Once you got it completely mashed, then you want to return the mashed black eyed peas into your uh, black eyed peas, you know, that's in your crock pot. As you can see, immediately after you start stirring it up, that it starts to thicken up. Now you just want to add your smoked sausage and then you can go ahead and add your ham, you know, hit it with your black pepper, and then you can get ready to close it back up. Now you want to continue cooking it for one more hour on high for a total cook time of five hours. Now 
Now that you're finished cooking, so you had a total of five hours of cooking, you can go ahead and just add your parsley, give it a good stir, and then you can go ahead and put your black eyed peas in the bowl. I want to take this time to say, you know what, thank you to DJ Davis Productions for providing this music. He sent this to me in the email and told me, you know, try this out. This had a great feel for this video. And so I just want to say, hey, thank you, bro. Black Eyed Peas and DJ Davis Productions, you are right, man. This is a DJ Davis Production. You seen it? Look, this is after a total time, you know, total cook time of five hours. Very, very simple. Went ahead and just did four hours on high in the crock pot. After that, you know what I mean? Uh, then you go ahead and add your sausage. You can add your, uh, you know, whatever meat you want to add to it there. Whatever you put in there, then you want to cook it just for another hour. So a total time of five hours. After you're done, you can go ahead and hit it with a little garnish. Here's my parsley. This is it right here. I hope you guys can see that. It might be a little washed out, but this is it. You know what, very, very flavorful. If you're looking to make that Southern smooth, meaty black eyed peas, this is the one. And then, you know what, I just used uh, jasmine rice, went ahead and just stuck it in the center. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. But right now I'm having a hard time talking because my mouth is watering because I'm smelling these flavors and it's time for me to dig in. Hold on, let's get it in. Gotta love the texture too. Stay with me. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but you know what? That noise, if you did hear it, that was an explosion of the flavors in my mouth. You know what I mean? I could taste the smoked sausage, the ham, the ham hawk that was in there. Oh man, I gotta go in one more time. Listen, I know I ain't supposed to be eating like this on here. We supposed to be showing a recipe, but I'm digging in. Now check it out. I don't want to over talk it. Listen, very, very simple. I'm trying to take the mystique out of it, you know, because everybody says, look, you know, my grandparents made this. Uh, this was a, a family recipe. I just want to show you that anybody can make this. It's very, very easy. The crock pot does all the work. We just, you know, do a little bit of prep, throw it in there, let it cook. And this is what you come up with. You know what, with that being said, I want you guys to uh, let me know what you think. If you make this uh, video recipe, let me know in the comment section down below. I will put the full recipe down in the description box below and check it out. If you're new to my channel, I want to say hey, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and then you guys want to see more videos like this because we finna take it, we finna get our Southern cooking on. It's that time of the year, folks. So listen, go ahead, hit that bell so you can get all the notifications of my new videos. Outside of that, I just want to say hey, thank you. And I'm out.